What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Flyboy Quan, and today I'm back with another banger. Today I want to talk to y'all about the Xbox Series X. As you can see, I got two right here. And I want to talk to y'all about the PS5, and we're going to discuss whether or not it is worth double what it's selling for. You know what I'm talking about. You've seen it yourself. I'm sure, you know, Facebook, Marketplace, your friends, everybody won $1,000, $1,200, $1,500. And we're going to discuss whether it's reasonable and if you missed out on the console, how you could possibly get your hands on the console. So first off, whether or not I would pay $1,000, $1,200 for a console, honestly, it all depends on how bad I want it. So luckily I was um, able to hit the pre-order for the Xbox Series X via Best Buy um, either like a month and a half ago to two months. Whenever it first happened, I got lucky enough to hit a pre-order. So I can't say what I would pay for it right now, but I think off the top, if I didn't have this in hand, being the diehard Xbox guy that I am, I'd be willing to pay 800 for the Xbox Series X. No more. No more than 800 Matter of fact, I'm not even going to say 8 800 I'm gonna say like 750 and then if you're talking about the ps5 on the other hand which usually has more value you know we've seen it with the ps4 they hold their value better they're more sought after um ps4 I'd probably be at 800 maybe 850 if I really 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 wanted it but if you could wait it out you know wait it out because they will be back in stock but I honestly don't see it happening this year I've actually talked with multiple Best Buy and GameStop employees, and these are employees who don't even have the console because GameStop and Best Buy, they don't have first dibs just because they work there. So these are guys that don't even have the console. Either one, PS, PS5 or Xbox, they're telling me that they do not expect those systems to restock in stores for the remainder of the year, but they will hit online sparingly. So I do know as of right now, your next chance to land a ps5 or xbox uh series x is going to be through best buy and it's going to be on black friday so it's going to be hectic and i'm going to tell you right now it's going to be crazy because as you've seen with walmart they did the four drops uh yesterday they had 12 o'clock they had three o'clock they had six o'clock and nine o'clock and i was one of the clowns that was there at every drop trying 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 i even got it in my cart I had my car information address already ready. Got it in my cart three times, but couldn't check out. The app was too glitchy. The site wouldn't log, wouldn't load right. And it just, it was just a pain in the ass, you know. Excuse my words. It was a pain. I got frustrated. And I couldn't hit a PS5 to save my life. So my only resort, if I really, really want one, is to go pay retail. And right now, it's going to be nine fifty thousand dollars So as you can see, you know, you can um, actually look on ebay right now and see what they're selling for you may not be able to see this but you can pull it up yourself so right here these are all today we got 910 for xbox series x 960 869 a thousand 715 somebody got a good deal 930 so as you can see 950 you know what i mean is is reasonable for the xbox series x and if you go look at the ps5 which <laughs> It gets even crazier with the PS5. We're talking about the disc version, of course, the one that everybody wants. So we're going to look up. Uh, so we're going to see what they're going for real quick. So, wow. I'm looking at one that just sold for $18.99. Now, some of these systems, uh, it's hard to see because of the lighting, but this one just sold for $18.99. It's hard. Some of these systems won't get paid for. Somebody will click, you know, buy now or they'll get an offer that get accepted and they won't pay for it. So we're not going to use that one. So here's another one that sold for $900. Here's one that went for $1,200. Um, $1,000, a $1,000, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $800, $
So if something happens with this system, you don't have insurance. So with the receipt, you can actually go back into the store and be like, here's my purchase receipt. I want to put insurance on my device, which I definitely recommend you doing, especially if you bought secondhand, because as you know, when the first consoles drop, there's always bugs, glitches. You know, we've seen some stuff, you know, with the uh, PS5s freezing up, not loading. Uh, the Xbox, we've seen a few issues. The whole smoke thing was fake. Somebody was blowing the vape into their system. So don't listen to the trolls. Um, as of right now, I actually haven't even played my system because I do YouTube. I wanted to make sure that when I did experience it, I did it with you guys. So I have had this since release day, but you know, with my schedule being crazy and busy, I haven't had time to unbox it. So definitely if, if you want to see what it looks like, you haven't had a chance, you want to see what I think about the console, um, subscribe to the channel right now because I'm going to be doing an unboxing that will probably get uploaded a day after you're seeing this video. So yeah, so like I was saying, um, your last chance to get either system is probably going to be Black Friday. And with that being said, we got a whole month of December where people are doing Christmas shopping. So let's say you do have a PS5 or Xbox and you haven't opened it. I think it's worth to pay the retail right now because if these systems are getting 900 to 1000 right now, and this, this is not even panic mode. This is just people who can't wait. They're impatient and got to have it. Imagine what happens those last two weeks of Christmas when there's no restocks. They're not in stores. And people need this, this system. They're going to be paying ridiculous amounts of money for it. So what I plan on actually doing is maybe holding a system. If I can get my hands on a PS5 right now for less than a 1000 I think I'll buy it and hold it. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in the butt because... You know, you could spend a thousand for the system expecting to flip it and then out of nowhere, Sony just released all these units and now everybody could get it. So don't be one of those guys that's, you know, if you can't afford to, to hold it, definitely go ahead and sell it now and get your profit. But if you like the system and, 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 and you're a fan, just get it for yourself and play it. You know, be happy you got it. You know, some some of you guys are YouTubers. You may be big YouTubers, small YouTubers like me. I'm a small YouTuber. So it's it's not really necessary that I have this, but it's great that I have this because, you know, I do have people watching and having the content is great. Now, if you're a big time YouTuber, you're a big streamer, like let's say like somebody like Duke Dennis, he streams NBA 2K, you got to have this console. So if you got to go out there and pay 2000 for it, go ahead and pay 2000 for it because you already know you're going to make the money right back in views. You know subscribers and comments so i think it's worth it man so my opinion right now is is these systems worth the retail my opinion is yes they are yes yes and yes so right now if you have the money and you can afford it i advise you to buy these systems for you know the resale price eight nine hundred dollars if you can find one because it's going to get rough the closer we get to Christmas, it's going to be rough. So if you want one this year, your best chances is buying it right now. So I actually give you a look at a, this is the Series X. Like I said, I could not get my hands on a PS5. So, you know what I'm saying? That's it right there. This is a, a dope, dope system, man. And plus, you know what I'm saying? Keep in mind too, like even with Halo, Halo doesn't come out till next year. A lot of these systems don't even have new titles right now. So I don't, I mean, if you're not a diehard fan, I really, I would, I really don't, you know, expect you to rush out to get this. But if you just, you know, somebody like me that you got to have your game, you know what I'm saying? Go out there and get it. But definitely appreciate y'all watching the video. I didn't want to make it too long. Like I said, I will be unboxing this bad boy tomorrow. And I also got something else I want to show y'all. So with these new consoles, you know, we got, you know, 4K. We got, you know, new frame rates and new technology that has been built. So a lot of us, we're going to have to go out there and purchase a better TV or a better gaming monitor. So I actually bought a gaming monitor. So if you're interested in seeing what kind of gaming monitor I got and how it handles with these new consoles, definitely subscribe and like. Um, if you found this video helpful, subscribe and like. Comment. Let me know what you think of the system if you already got it. And let me know how much I paid for y'all's because... Like I said, I got this one retail, but I did pay 700 for this one. Um, I actually got it for a buddy. But like I said, if he don't want it, I'm not worried about, you know, losing money because I could flip this right now for 800 850 easily right now. So like I said, man, I appreciate it. It's your boy Flyboy Quan. Make sure y'all come back and check out uh, more on my channel and see what I got to offer. Let's get it.